just hammered that billy. <laughs> oh! I'm glad it's over because I'm sick of climbing this mountain. Well, it's confirmed our bags are in the United States still. How big is he? Just had a shot at just a freaking awesome ibex. He did show us the canyon that we were hiking up tomorrow. It looks pretty gnarly. I'm gonna pull my phone and translate. Did you see him draw that in the snow? Been a scramble trying to put this trip together. Um, both pretty stressed out. Nick drove three hours to my house last night. We had a. He made it to the airport to check his gun in five minutes late, and it just so happened that they held up for him. So it's been an absolute cluster. We got to make it through TSA now. Here we go. Maybe, dude. It hasn't been that stressful. Made it through TSA, clean as a whistle. Headed to Chicago. Chicago. And uh, how long is our layover in Chicago? An hour. No. Yeah. Dude, we're not gonna make it. Let's hope so. <laughs> you just hit your funny bone? No. <laughs> No, nothing. I don't feel anything. So we've got, what, 25 hours of travel right now? Or is it 30? 28. 28. No, 25. How much actual flight time? 19. Hey, Eric. I got moved up to the next class. How does that make you feel? Dude, I feel like I feel like I went to the bathroom and got a drink and bought you a freaking bar and that they called me to go. You're like, oh, he won't want to go. I'll go for it. Is that what really happened? You were here karma. What's that supposed to be? You just have bad things coming your way. <laughs> Alright, so we're on a Canadian aircraft and Nick can't get his bags from the overhead bin, but uh, the LA nonstop flight to Chicago. Here we go. Made it to Chicago. Two hour flight. Two hour flight and we're just... I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Two hour flight and we're already spent. Uh, where are we headed next? Our gate and then... Turkey. To Turkey. Perfect time to go to Turkey. Perfect time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're hitting the international terminal. Luckily, we had some good folks that kind of pointed us in the right direction. Now we're going to hit the international. This guy's so annoying. <laughs> anyway, headed to Terminal 5 to meet up with Chase. Say something inspiring. We're going to Turkey. <laughs> Dude, we got through Chicago, man. Almost. Run. We gotta hustle if we wanna get some food in the earphones. Okay. We just almost missed our flight. Okay. Dude, they're calling our names? Yeah, it came over the radio. That's why I grabbed your guys' bags and started running down here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. So we, we barely made it on here. It was a mad dash. I just sit next to Eric for 11 hours. <laughs> Slept. How you feeling? I'm serious. I'm tired. How much of that book did you read that you bought? Did you really? I have no. <laughs> I was like, no way. 
<laughs> Man, it's turkey, dude. One more down. One more to go. Dude, that 10 hour flight. Super duper. The ten, that 10 hour flight seems shorter than the two and a half hour flight to Chicago for me. <laughs> Just a quick recap. Remember when he said uh, that our flight left the M14? <laughs> <laughs> said, uh, I... Dude, can you imagine if you would have went to dinner with us? Because you like were debating on going to dinner with us. If you would have went to dinner with us, we'd have missed that. We need Chicago right now. <laughs> I don't know how often this flight happens, but <laughs> that connection would have. We'd have been fun. screwed, huh? Dude, how about this airport? You guys acting like this is normal. They don't have this in Seattle. Have you guys been to Look SeaTac? The, uh, Let's go get some whiskey. You guys... <laughs> you guys just... It doesn't quite touch Boise Airport, but... It'll do for today. <laughs> Dude, look at this. So what have you learned about this airport? No garbage cans, no, no place, water. no water fountains. What else? The they just they, must... They have more booze in this airport than they do water. And yeah, I think it's cheaper. Yeah, I bet. Cheaper than the water? Six dollars. Six dollars a bottle. piece for water. How can they not have water? And no one's just carrying a bottle of water. Because they're drinking. Did you, did you see the, the pub over there? I'm pretty sure on the first catering round on that last flight, the lady served me more, more whiskey than she did water She's than I asked for it. She's Were you insane. feeling it? What's that? Were you feeling good? The water? No, the whiskey. Were you we're feeling drinking, good? Right? They were? Three total, half. total of five hours here. Yeah, we've been here three. We got another two hours and another five-hour flight. Yep. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Brutal travel schedule. Well, oh, it's late Sunday night, uh, about eight thirty, and we got about an hour till we um, take off to Bishkek, and then. I think that'll be a four or five hour flight and then on to a Jeep ride, 10 hours. Check in later. Check this out. Nick and I paid for VIP. And, uh, so we just got on this bus that looks like a limo. And we just got stopped by these people that threw us on the bus, so. Hey, welcome to VIP, brother. <laughs> Dude, how how much did you sleep? Thank you. Uh, two hours, by the way. Are you in your best behavior, Nick? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you should have saw him when he got in this van. So I, don't, I don't think he wants to leave this guy now. <laughs> <laughs> Into the VIP lounge here, waiting for our rifles to arrive. Okay, you're back. Live in the United States. You have to back, yeah? Yeah. Okay, it's the United States. Maybe live in the United States. You need to go in for two for two extra lines. Huh? What the hell is it? 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 What's going on? You're back still in the United States? Yes, yes. Your back is coming. Your back is going to come. I heard that was funny. I, I don't even you to understand what he was no, laughing no, as no, you no, said no, that his no, bag was in the United States. We're being told Nick's bag is in the U.S. still, and I'm not sure where mine is. I'm getting the translation here. So. Well, uh, we can't a wait little bit for off. That. No, we gotta go hunting. We're not quite sure where our bag is at at this point. Well, dude, why was he having a grin when he was telling us? I know, that's why I thought it was a joke. Yeah. I hope it is. <laughs> well, it's confirmed our bags are in the United States still. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Nick can get by, but I can't. Darn it. 
We're over in the VIP lounge for the last hour or so, we're dealing with a, just a little hiccup. <laughs> yeah, our, so our bags didn't get on the plane from Chicago here. So from United Airlines to Turkish Airlines. Our rifles came, Chase's bags came, me and Nick's bags in the cable. Fortunately for Nick, he packed enough gear to get him by. Me and I don't quite have enough. I don't. We're talking about options, and I think I have enough to kind of help Eric get by as far as gear goes, but they're saying it's about negative 10 degrees at night, so not really wanting to chance it. So we're going to hang out in Bishkek for a couple hours and eat some breakfast and wait for some stores to open and try to get a. If I can get a, if I can buy a puppy, some thermal top and bottom, and a soft shell, I think I'll get it. Yeah, Maybe I've got a bunch of extra gear, so we can piece stuff together. But. Yeah, I, I Inopportune, I guess. <laughs> Two missing bags. I don't know, five, ten grand worth of uh, gear that we don't know if it'll show up. They kind of laugh when we ask them when it'll get here. Yeah. They say maybe, maybe tomorrow, <laughs> maybe next week, maybe never. <laughs> that was comforting. So. We're gonna eat breakfast, I guess. Typically, we wouldn't grab breakfast, but we're grabbing breakfast because uh, our bag is in the show. So, we're trying to kill some time before the store opens. Grabbing some breakfast in this cool little place. We're going to leave the uh, leave the van, and I asked the driver, I was like, hey, is it good if I uh, just leave my camera gear in here? Is it safe? He's like, this is Kyrgyzstan, not Afghanistan. Yeah, nice. <laughs> he said that? He said that? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> We're just trying to order food here. Get this sorted out. I think I'm going to go with the same thing Chase is, but I'm going to add some crepes. What about you, big guy? I don't know. Confused. Converter, I need my Google converter. What did you just learn? I learned how to speak some Russian. Yeah. Yeah, Hachu. Mm -hmm. Ibex. Mm -hmm. I want an Ibex. Yeah, Hachu, Ibex. Man, Ibex, that's a tough one. Ibex, you that's nailed a tough that word. Quick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Goledin. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. Spasivia Kaktila. Harasho, Harasho. Now he's just making stuff up. No, that means good. How are you? Good, good. Here we got traditional yeah, bread here. Yeah. No, it's tra Turkish. It's all traditional. It's no, 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 it's Kyrgyz. Kyrgyz. It's Kyrgyz? Yeah, yeah. fried bread. Traditional nice. like this? Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Like fresh. It's like a scone. It's a slow cream. Oh, that's sour cream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like this one. Yeah. Oh wow, that's good. It's good. It's a traditional breakfast for Kyrgyz people. Tea that's really good. No much, no much bread. <laughs> so for me, it's for you. What is this issue? For who? For you. Oh, I think I didn't order this one. Okay, good shape. This. What are you doing? Yeah, What's that? Blinik. It's it's sweet. So this is so this is different than that. Is that? See, that's some pancakes here is what they're calling these. Nothing? 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 Nothing. Okay. So that must be sweet and condensed milk then or something? Yeah. Chase, is it sweet? It's sweet. Oh, I haven't tried it yet. I think it's the same as that. Mm -hmm. yeah, a little bit same. sweet. It's pretty awesome getting the experience. Oh, oh, cultures it's here. Wow. Yeah, we'll this is a feast right here. Look at this! What is that? Watch. What? It's a bottle of cognac. Okay. okay. Is this a? It's a my, 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 my bio. Okay. <laughs> you can change a bottle. For example, you can take this bottle. <laughs> this one. 
Almasıp güz göğe casılcay at basıma deş That's awesome. For example, for this one. These guys. So we took a quick uh, tourist stop at this place. It's called the uh, Warm Lake. I can't remember. The... What's the name of this lake again, Nick? What? What's the name of the lake again in Russian? It's a cool. It's a cool. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we're laughing at. Here. There's the sheriff. That's funny. Here's the Isakul Lake. So apparently Marco Polo is permitted on that side of the lake. However, it's not permitted for hunting on this side of the lake. Well, we've been in the car for a good four or five hours. Is this the guest house? Oh, yeah. yeah, this is the guest house. We're here at the guest house, got a lot of stuff. And, uh, so I'm going to stop. We don't really have any. <laughs> We made it. Mm. This is a little wild ride, huh? What do you think of that ride? That was long, man. I don't think I've ever been on a road that felt like uh, you're gonna die. At zero to sixty and <laughs> zero to sixty, zero to sixty. Yeah, it was just like fast, so f fast, slow. The road was like bumpy, like a gnarly country road the entire way for six hours. <laughs> Pretty gnarly, huh? Yeah. I didn't sleep much at all on the flights, and so I, was, I dozed off a couple times, then just got like whiplashed awake by a bump. <laughs> yeah, I got your neck so, snap. Yeah. But here's the casa for the night. It actually looks a lot nicer than that. It's actually really nice. Yeah. Guest house. So this place we're staying is a guest house. It's got a pretty sweet stairway up here. All the way up a few floors. It's got a big uh, snack room. And obviously it's... Where we stay up there. But it's pretty nice. It's impressive. I never thought something like this would be in Kyrgyzstan, but... Of course, that's me just being a naive American, but it's pretty nice. This is the guest house. Chase's bed, my bed, Nick's bed. Got some nice tables and chairs. It's pretty nice. The Euro okay. bathroom here. I'm not quite sure. This is going to be a hot water here, huh? Dude, check out that shower. Oh, nice. Interesting. You've never seen a shower before? Not like that. Anyway, we're gonna get some rest here. We're gonna see if we could sync up with Renata, let her, let her know what we're doing, and then um, maybe go get some photos around the city, see the town. Do a little exploring. Do a little exploring. Um, we're still Find waiting for- coffee shop. <laughs> Chase likes coffee. Um, we're actually waiting for my bags, me and Nick's bags to show up. So supposedly they're supposed to land at 5.40 um, this morning, and then Turkish Airlines was gonna pay to taxi him up to us. And what's the name of this town? Ker? Karapo? Karako. 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 But I mean, we're six hours from Bishkek. So it's going to take us a minute to get our gear. By at that point, we'll look through our gear, make sure everything's there, and then probably try to get to base camp today. So we've kind of just been hanging out, and enjoying the culture and the food. And obviously, this little bed and breakfast place has been second to none. Very, very impressed with the culture and the food. So. Pretty nice. Pretty fun experience. All right, we're headed out of town here. We don't look like tourists, do we? Dressed up in cryptic altitude. We're bored waiting for our bags to get here, so we're headed out looking like a bunch of freaking American bozos. Nick's worried that Chase is gonna get jumped and lose all his, our keys to us. Just the way it looks. 
You basically said Chase can't defend himself. No, I did. No, he said that side strap bag looks like it has a lot of value in it. It looks like a satchel. <laughs> <laughs> Headed out to to town, Karakov. Yeah, we had to get off the road a little bit, huh? People hit us. Like walk on this. Nick's worried about getting hit. These drivers are a little crazy. Hey, Danielson. Hi, guys. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> So we, Nick and I are getting pretty pumped. We just saw a giant ibex go down on Ramon's phone. Ramon, you, you see how Schultz much again the picture? Snow. You see how much snow was up there? Yeah. And we just got fresh snow. It's There's gonna be a lot of snow. Uh, the giant. So here it is. Here. Outfit a sheet. It's pretty easy. A sheet? A sheet and a belt. So cut a hole in the middle of the sheet. Have you seen like a? Like a poncho. Same yeah. thing, a poncho is just a squish. Why are you so familiar with you? All right, so, just got done drinking some hot chocolate. Um, we're gonna go sightsee a little bit because my bags are on the way from the airport right now. So it's a six hour drive from the airport. So we're waiting for our bags to show up. And then we're gonna hit the road to base camp, which is another four hours. So normally we'd have already been on a horse hunting, but uh, we're waiting for the bags to get here. We, uh, Nick wanted to go up without gear. He packed enough in his carry-on to get up, but we were going to split gear between the three of us, but I just wasn't comfortable enough not having all my gear and all my kit to be in Kyrgyzstan, three-quarters of the way around the world, and not have everything that I'm comfortable with. So it's not a big deal. We're just going to wait, and uh, it's been fun sightseeing. Got her bags. Capitan, your bags. They are long awaited. It's possible, Capitan. Capitan, possible. Hello. It's here, bro. Our stuff. Chase, grab me one. Please. One more. Thank you, three. We're all the way. Okay. Off the base camp. What's that? Ice cream? Yes. Oh, nice. Instagram, so interesting. Oh, you made video? Yes, this yes. is Chase, Already. my friend Chase. Um, I am Natalie. <laughs> Natalie? This is my friend Nick. Nice to meet you, Chase. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Ah, your friend? Yes. Nick. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nick, Nick. Nick. and uh, Eric. Eric, this is your room. Okay, thank you. Please come in. And so come on in. So this is me and Nick's bump. It's a lot, not, I mean, for the middle of nowhere and 30 kilometers from the Chinese border, this is pretty nice. This is wild. We're here, man. We are so four. far out. Like, we've been... Three days later? Four days? Four How, do, how do we want to count this? Three day, Four dates since we left. Yeah, four dates. 12 hours of uh, traveling forward in time and then... Oh, that ride wasn't yeah. too bad from car. Cool. Yeah. Made it. Tomorrow we shoot in the morning, and then I'm once the guns out, are yeah. uh, certified true, we head out on the horses. So we just got summoned out here. Fresh Ibex meat. Food. It's pretty cool. Kyrgyzstan, 30 km kilometers from the Chinese border. We got a plate full of Ibex meat. Pretty dang cool. 
What do you think? What do you think? Good. So Chase came in from outside. How's that Ibex, Chase? Ibex is phenomenal. I think the views are even yeah, it's pretty crazy. I'm going to be up there all night. <laughs> I'm excited to show everyone what Chase is working on out there. Hey guys, thanks for watching the first episode of our Kyrgyzstan Ibex hunt. This was a crazy adventure. We can't wait to show you the rest. For this series, we're going to give away a rifle build components with all your favorite parts. Trigger by Trigger Tech, Proof Research Carbon Fiber Barrel, Mountain Hunter Lightweight Stock, and some Hornady 300 PRC ammo. If you'd like to win this, be sure to like this video. Pay attention to all the details in here because we're going to do a comprehensive quiz at the end where you can win all these components. Be a subscriber to the channel. We'll be picking the winner at the end of the final episode of the Kyrgyzstan Hunt. Also, if you're interested in going on your own Ibex hunt to Kyrgyzstan, contact me over Instagram at Muley Freak Eric. DM me. I'll give you all the details. I'm sending groups out every single fall. I have two weeks booked out with this exclusive outfitter to be able to accommodate Americans coming over to Kyrgyzstan and hunting mid-Asian Ibex. So I'd be happy to facilitate that for you and give you the details and set you up on a hunt of a lifetime. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for episode number two.